Welcome to the wonderful world of evolution, hybrid zones, the wonderful speciation middle ground. So, what are they? Where did they come from? Why am I so confused? Does science even know? Of course, silly. So, what is a hybrid? A car? No. Half-calf coffee? No. But you're on the right track. Let's take an example. Let's look at this hooded crow, which dwells in northern and eastern Europe, and this carrion crow, which dwells in central and eastern Europe. These two birds are separate species in the genus Corvus that have overlapping distributions. Despite physical similarities, these two have not been considered the same species since the dark world of the Ice Age. Oh, well, looky here. Oh my. It seems those reproductive barriers aren't so complete after all. Let's give these two some privacy. Four to five weeks later. Why? Who'd have guessed? A hybrid of those two. A hybrid, to use highly technical sciencey terms, is a cross between two different species. The majestic common mule is technically a hybrid. Therefore, a hybrid zone is where two different species naturally meet and fairly often get jiggy with it. Sometimes, I mean, if they're feeling it. That is to say, if the reproductive barriers between the two species are still incomplete. The love children of the two crows will either, one, die, or fail to reproduce, nearly as bad, two, create their own awesome species, or, three, increase gene flow between the species until they reunite and reform as one happy and diverse species. In northern Britain, Germany, Denmark, northern Italy, and Siberia, these two crows meet and produce fertile offspring. So, are they merging? Forming a new species? No, you're wrong. The offspring has less energy than either mom or dad, making it a less adapted organism, keeping the hooded crow and the carrion crow from reuniting into one widespread species. So, hybrids. Super cool, when they're not dead or sterile.